Just, just now I stopped the car and Con wanted to go out. I said, no need, no need, no need. This car was just sit here only. Just sit here. They're gonna splash your car. You keep your engine running. Yeah. You always hear car wash people say, uh, European car don't open the, bo- the bonnet and mm-hmm. spray water yeah, inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Japanese car can. Yes. They always say that the car wash people will tell us that, right? Yes, yes. So, I mean, once they told me that, I never dared. I never dared to even... You know, you see like some uh, Vios mm-hmm. city, they pop the bonnet. Yeah. And then they put the, 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 the soap. Yeah. They start blasting it. And then when they start the car, the belts are making the noise, right? I, but the cars are fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I do not know actually. Uh, it's like, mm. No, for me, I, I've never had the had, had, the, had this thing about washing the engine bay. Right? I, I don't dare. I, I don't dare. dare. I don't dare. <laughs> and and I don't care whether you are Toyota or not. If you if you guys own a Prius, don't even try. See, that. the thing is this: certain cars, you make, of course, all wires are insulated. Right? Yeah, correct. But over the years, with heat and everything, right? They might they crumble and all that, right? Right? They might. What if EV? Because just how you when you say that, yeah. forty eight volt. Lah. But you see, right? The EV, eh, yeah. We talk about EVs, right? There's this interesting argument about EVs. EVs, ah, mm. if you think of it, right? Yeah. By right, it should be significantly less complex than a combustion engine. Uh, you use way lesser parts. Ah. Lesser parts. Less parts. Yeah. Way fewer moving parts. Because from because explosion mm. is one directional. Correct. If you is if you contain it, mm. if you don't contain it, it's like that. Yeah. So to turn explosion into movement, you yeah. have to first enclose it into single direction. Yeah. Single direction, you put something there that can reciprocate. Yes, yes, yes. From the reciprocation, yeah. you go to the engine. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah. Then you have. Then you need all the cooling la, yeah. all the yeah. belts la, the hoses la, the pipes and all. Mm. You don't need that in an EV. Right? EV Are you a believer it? of EV? You I'm see, not. The, the for me the thing is that the, the only, sorry. I, let me clarify. Uh-huh. I am not a believer in BEV batteries. Yeah, that 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 for me that's the biggest concern because you see that right now we in our current internal combustion engine car we just pump petrol. We can drive to Penang. We can drive to JB Kuantan. No problem. But in an EV, when you reach Penang, how are you going to replenish the engine the the range? Now that is not a problem of BEV. Yes. That is a problem of infrastructure. Correct. Right. My problem with BEV if Greta Thunberg, if you are watching this. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's less material to make batteries in this world than there's oil. Than <laughs> dinosaur juice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. And how does how is that sustainable? That's not sustainable. And the problem with BEV batteries, they chemically deteriorate. Exactly. It is not a reversible uh, 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 chemical yes. process. Yes. yes. You can only take out the little little batteries to do something else until they really die out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. And think of I always say I always tell people think of it as a fuel tank that reduces the size of your car engine. Yeah. Then yeah, and, yeah and, and that's the thing because and some more right the, there is oh, there's still that barrier in the recharging speed yep. of your battery. You yep. can't like recharge your battery fully in five minutes. Yep. Right. So the replenishment of range is. It's a big hindrance for me yeah. in terms of in terms of going with, with electric vehicles. And BEVs is like what? It's like a space shuttle mm. that never dislodged its is 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 uh its fuel tanks. Yeah, yeah. You know, after it's empty, it's still carrying it. Yeah, yeah. All the way. Because the battery, whether it's empty or full, weighs it the same. Weighs the same. Whereas in your she, actually that's that's amazing. Right. Why? Uh? <coughs> Quantum yeah. physics. This I, is quantum physics. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because, because if you look at it, right, our 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 fuel tank. Yeah. As you use up the fuel, your car actually progressively becomes lighter, lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Definitely. Yeah. But in in, <coughs> in, in, in a BEV is. Yeah. That's why. That's why actually. That's why when 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 I drive, I'm sure you you experience it when you drive your Volvo. When your battery depletes, mm. you feel a bit of a drag, right? Because you are dragging the whole system along the initial throttle response you don't hear the the electric motor mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, i don't feel the drag to be yeah. honest i don't yeah. feel the drag yeah but it's just and then moreover yeah. the, this is the capacity of yeah. the battery yeah. they will let you use this yeah that is always there even yeah. though here it shows empty yeah there is always some charge in there yes 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 provided you really want to deplete it yeah right the 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 the, the, the thing is this some car makers huh? quickly jump on the bandwagon. Yes, yes. They yes. want to jump on the bandwagon yes. because 
they are afraid that they might lose sales, exactly. blah, 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 blah. But some car makers, like this guy here, Toyota, mm -hmm. they, I, I think he's a Japanese master. Yeah. Japanese never take their customers for a guinea pig joyride. Correct. Right? Correct. They will not use customers as testing grounds. Yeah. Uh, which, unfortunately, the European makers do yeah. because that's how the European market competes. Yeah. They have to compete with the latest technology, latest technology. Everybody must do that. If not, your cars won't sell. Yeah. Uh, whereas Japan is different. They, they are more. They are more very uh, careful. Yes. They thought it through before they they do anything with yeah. it. So that's why Toyota, Honda, all this they put more effort on fuel cell. Yeah. Than 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 BEV because I also believe that. Uh, in the future, if we are going the EV route, yeah, it will be fuel cell instead of. Yes, because BEV. the thing about fuel cell is, um, from a user standpoint, la, hydrogen, hydrogen, right? But from a user standpoint, yeah, replenishing the depleted fuel cell, it's yeah. no different from pumping, pumping your petrol, right? And I can, can use be. the existing infrastructure. I can. And be. if people say yeah. hydrogen is expensive, it's combustible. Yeah. Same goes with petrol. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's about the 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 containment of the yeah. of the of the of the fuel. Okay, this one we have to go down. Okay. 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 So yeah, we'll be back. Continue. Okay, keyless entry to me is nothing new, but to find it in a two o o five car, it's quite amazing. Huh? Yeah. Right. Even the uh, even the 2010 Audi RS6 don't have it. Even my S4 don't have it. But your S4 don't have it because it was not specced in my. Ah because, yeah, true, 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 true. Uh, right? It wasn't specced in. Uh, yeah. yeah. But the what do you say the RS6 don't have as in like not offered uh, that option. Uh yeah, not offered. You see uh, Japanese Japanese car makers uh, uh, they understand that if you make a roof uh -huh. and then you put on a roof liner uh -huh. and you let people choose the color, uh -huh. right? Yep. They want to choose the finishing in Alcatara yeah, 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 or leather yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah, what? That yeah. means you need to use glue. Yep. And glue would give way one day. Correct. And then the headliner would drop. Yeah. Would droop down. Yeah. Like, like every single European car. Oh, yes. That's why Japanese car makers won't do it. Yes. Look at this roof. <laughs> Right? Yes. This is a 15 year old car. Yeah. 15 year old car. Yeah. And, and because of what you said about the Germans, right? Yeah. There is a cottage industry out there fixing roof, roof liners. Yeah, making, oh, yeah. making, right? And these guys make good money. Oh, I tell you, Jeff, the way Europeans design parts to fail, uh, uh -huh. hey, oh. I told you before, not uh -huh. my, my, my old mini, I bought the. Uh -huh. The fuel cap release. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The fuel cap release. Yeah. Uh, Koya. Yeah. It wouldn't release. Yeah. I think a lot of people who drive European cars have uh -huh. have have faced that embarrassing situation where uh -huh. you arrive at a petrol station, uh -huh. you cannot open your fuel cap. Oh. <laughs> the thing won't open. Oh my god. And then god. when you buy the parts, right, it comes in a nice little box. <laughs> it comes in a nice little which box. Which you actually don't need. Which, which they, they is is engineered to fail because that's how they make money. Yeah, that's yeah. how they make money in all these what, small What's the word things. for it? Uh? Planned obsolescence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planned <laughs> obsolescence. Yeah. Oh, wait. Just now we were talking about about EV about EVs actually. Fuel cell. Fuel cell. Yeah. So you see, right? Then, then, then uh, I come. I I came to this interesting point. Yeah. So you see, right? In the 1990s, Toyota yeah. came out with the Prius. They yeah. launched the Prius. Yeah. They were. Uh, they 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 took leadership. They from then on, right? Yeah. Toyota came to own hybrids in a way right yeah right yeah they porsche they may have invented the the first hybrid car but because toyota was the first one yeah. to bring it to mass production they are they have become like the default poster child i think the approach was cars. slightly different when porsche made the hybrid car mm -hmm. it was at the transition between electric to petrol yeah back then when cars first came out mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh Basically, they most of them run on electric. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't have the the infrastructure yet yeah. to 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 send petroleum and all that. Yes. Right. Yes. America hasn't gotten their freedom juice yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> freedom juice. <laughs> yeah. So so that was at the transition. Yeah. And uh, it's very different from Toyota's approach. Yeah. Toyota's approach is very rational. Yeah. Toyota was thinking, our cars have batteries. Yes. 
right? To yeah. run our auxiliaries and yeah, all that. Correct. What if our car has a slightly more powerful battery? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they study, right? You use the most fuel when you when yeah. you start your car, yes. And when you are on the move, yeah, right, yeah. When you uh, are in a in a low RPM, yeah, high torque situation, yeah, yeah. That kind of usage in an internal combustion engine, you use more fuel, correct, correct. So Toyota, look at electric motors. Electric motors would use up very quickly yeah. when you go high speed, correct. But comparatively, when you are at low speed, because mm-hmm. they, they make 100% torque in zero RPM, yep. it's a fuel efficient way. Yep. So for them, it's like the thinking is just, oh, we turn right here, sorry. Okay. No yeah. For them, it's just, what if I have a slightly larger battery that yep. can take away this load from the car yep. and it will save more petrol? Correct. I agree in that sense. Mm-hmm. I agree with hybrids assisting petrol combustion engines. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. when it comes to uh, full independence from from non the so called non renewable resource, right? Yeah, I don't I do agree with EVs. Yeah, so you see, right? That was one thing. Uh, Toyota w- was the leader in hybrid technology, yep. and they, in a way, I, I think they still are. Yeah. Okay. They are the people think of hybrid cars. They think of Toyota. Yeah. But now the mm. current trend in the industry is people are moving to increasing levels all out battery EV. yes and toyota has been absent from that they have they 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 like totally not interested to touch Be- that at all that's just in japanese because they, when they study they say it doesn't make sense they in fact they have they have been outright reluctant to even go into plug-in hybrids to them it doesn't make sense mm-hmm. because we, when, when they do the study and yeah, all that right yeah they, they keep thinking fuel cell is is the better one yes uh, here. Yeah. okay yeah to them Fuel cell is better, and and I totally agree with fuel cell. I agree with them too. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you you are running on EV. I turn left again, mm-hmm. and then we turn right. Yeah, yeah. going to the road behind us. Okay. Yeah, and 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 you are using liquid uh, hydrogen. Yeah, which has a high energy density. Your energy, but you're con- not burning it. They don't burn that. It's an electrolysis reaction. Yes, yes. And the reverse of, uh, yeah. of electrolysis, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that generates electricity. I think that is amazing, and there's no chemical deterioration of the parts. Yes, yes. You just need to refuel hydrogen. Yes. And the more car makers jump onto the hydrogen uh, fuel cell bandwagon, yep. the prices will come down. Yep. Yeah. And so, Toyota have done their part. They they kind of like, what last year or year before last they announced they they have freed up all their all their all their patents mm-hmm. internal patents for. Uh, for hydrogen oh, fuel cell vehicles. Really? Yes, they release oh, all nice, their patents nice. free for use. Because just you like, want everybody to adopt it yes. so that the prices will come down, right? Yes, they 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 have mm. they are Toyota has have, have you know it's they are it's the their stance is very obvious. Toyota is saying we are not interested in, in EVs. But it's just that when they look at it mm-hmm. from 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 an engineer standpoint, yeah. without the marketing, without the sales and yeah. all that, right? Yeah. In the long run it just doesn't make sense.